All right, first we've got the pads. These are like mini. It is gonna be pumping now, watch this. Here we go. Oh, damn. It's the wrong one. Howdy. Welcome back to another video here. Today, we have an unboxing. I received something in the mail. <coughs> I was choking myself with that thing. This right here is our canister filter, and uh, it's going right yonder. So we're gonna put it right in here, and uh, it's gonna make this whole entire tank crystal clear. It's a 200 gallon filter, has UV, and I'm gonna get this filter, put this filter onto that side of that tank so that both the filters are running that. We can get the black background, Don't try this at home, kids. Got it. All right. Box is now officially able to be sliced. Don't worry, I'm just gonna use a knife. Oh, damn. It's the wrong one. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, here it is. The filter that I ordered off of eBay comes with the canister filter itself, all the tubing, and then the attachments with the suction cups, and uh, yeah, the piping, pretty much everything, literally everything's in here. What we're gonna do is uh, bring it over to the big tank right now, unbox this thing officially, get everything situated first, connect everything, and then put it into the fish tank. Woo! Hell yeah. This thing is dope, dude. You may be saying, Paul, last video you said the next video will be us watching your backyard be rebuilt. So, I thought about it. If we were to work on the 12th, I wouldn't have been able to upload today, the day you're seeing this, because I would have been working out there. So, I don't know what I would have filmed, but this showed up as I was thinking about it. Literally, doorbell rang, I was like, perfect. Well, I guess when I unplugged it from that tank, it made that pop noise, and that's what exactly, I think it just literally fried the whole entire filter. So at least I have one, which is still big enough to run that tank. I just thought it would look cool with two. But unfortunately, I've literally, I've taken the motor off, I've tried to fix it, because I've fixed them usually by taking the motor off, blowing in it and stuff. Not working. Yeah, scratch that. We're not putting another filter on this tank, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to see what it comes with. Just looks like cotton for now. Uh, no, dope. So it doesn't come with literally anything that goes in these trays, which is bio balls, your active carbon, ceramic rings, uh, t literally nothing. So we're gonna go to the pet store real quick and pick up all that stuff. And the first thing I see right when I walk up, they have it. And these guys, so that's three. Got our goodies, set to go. Alrighty, I just got some bad news. We've got all the stuff. That's that's not the bad news. I've have I got everything. We're good. We're gonna get this 160 gallon running. But I just talked to the guy. He's gonna be the one ordering the fish for Pet Supermarket now. I said, Are you gonna ever order discus? And he goes, No. And I said, Why? And he goes, They're super delicate. And I looked into it, and they were delicate. And I was like, Are they really? Because you never really know what you see online if it's real or not. I asked him once again. I was like, Hey, I'm gonna trust you on this. Is it? Is it worth getting a discus? He said they're expensive and they're not worth it because they're very hard to take care of. So, I don't think I'm gonna get discus. Not a big deal, there's probably about four gajillion, quadrillion, million other freshwater fish species in the world and I will get any of them that look cool. So, uh, what I want you to do is comment something down below what fish I should get with the 160 gallon tank. We're still gonna do like a community tank because we're having the flower horn tank already. So we're still gonna do the clown loaches, the tetras, that sort of thing. All that is still going into the 160 gallon tank, just not discus, because I'm not trying to spend, literally, I was gonna spend like $600, $700 on those fish. They're expensive fish. And uh, for me to just blow all that money, there's just no point. So I hope you understand. Uh, comment something cool down below. What kind of species do you think could be like the main species? Like the discus was gonna be the main species. What could be the main now? Look at the sky, bro. Oh my gosh. We gotta go. <laughs> go. I didn't bring any med kits and uh, we're getting affected by the storm right now. 
Maybe I do have med kits actually. All right, before a dam pours on us, let me run out here and show you guys what I'm gonna do. They had no bio balls in stock, so. Old pond bio balls, all right, yonder. We're gonna get a bunch of these out of here. Just rinse them off, pretty good. Get a bunch of these out of here and uh, put them into the bottom. That's all we need, perfect. No point in even buying any. All right, we've got all the cotton right here. All right, first we've got the pads. These are like mini, uh, th these are mini pads that trap particles and debris. And uh, we're gonna put these ones in, I think the middle, the middle tray. So these guys go down there. And then these right here, this removes heavy metals, odors, discoloration, pretty much everything you could think of. This stuff is like a much need type thing. Like, so three bags in each of these boxes, each three bags treats 100 gallons. So 200 gallons, six bags, perfect. This stuff is the stuff that supports like your beneficial like bacteria growth in your fish tank. This is 100% needed. This is literally your filter, pretty much your filter. Other than obviously all this, we have a ton of stuff, but a lot goes into these uh, these canisters right here as a filter. It's not just that stuff that you get in the canister. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. I literally paid 100% full price for this. I don't even know the name of this company. All right, getting handfuls of bio balls here. Dude, this room is a mess. I remove a little bit of them because you do want to give them a little free space. So first spin down, bio ball will go first. There's a ton of stuff that all this stuff does. It's obviously a lot to explain, but like I said, we're gonna put all this together and eventually have this thing running. These fish haven't had a filter on them for the past like hour. At least we have the, the aerator on them. That's, that'll be fun. Oh, there's actually a lot in here. Holy cow. First bag, carbon going in. It's gonna be a tight squeeze here. Got three more bags after this. That right there is three. We pop this next box open here. So, last but not least, we got one more bag right there. And we're just gonna kinda squeeze this stuff in. It's gonna be pushed down by another one of these, so it wouldn't matter if these are popping out a little bit. Last but not least, our ceramic rings. These things are, uh, like I said, a key. We're gonna get these onto the top. I... Wow, there's not as many as I thought. They're just bigger this time and use our extra pads. We've got, we've got some extra pads right here, so we might as well use it all. We're just gonna throw these two in here. Not sure what the heck that might do, but. Hi, Nero. What up, bud? You interested in what's going on, right? All right, so retake here. Bio balls going in first. Carbon, a little bit of pads on top of that. Next is ceramic rings. As the third layer. Now, as you can see, this is our UV light right here. We're gonna put this in, and there's actually a slot right down in here. See the hole that was made right there? There's a hole, and each of these little containers have that hole, and you just line them up, and it allows this light to go right in there. And then, on top of that is obviously your pump, your filter. Boom, just like that. These side ones clip it in, so it holds these sides really this against the top, right there. And then these ones fold up and clip down, like that. So, fold up, clip down. That right there is a fully loaded canister tank filter. Now it actually comes with all of the tubing and everything, which is pretty cool, so we've got that stuff. All right, time to go that side. And make sure it's kind of straight like that and then just hold it, so look at that. Much better, see how it reaches the floor if it was connected to something, you can have it curl right back up. So once we push that tube on there, we're gonna tighten it down. Twisting this actually allows the tube to be squeezed to the inner plastic right there, and then no water could possibly leak out. It's almost like a seam that just sucks this tubes together. That's one, and now the next one, do the same stretching. So as you can see, see this little, you're gonna loosen this up a bit, get your tube, push it on just like that, and give it a nice little push over the edge sides of it. Now that it's on, you could start righty tighty in it straight up to that tube. Now this, there's actually an in, in and out button on this. This is where the water will be coming in, that's where it's gonna be going out. So, as you can see here, what I've made, off the very difficult instructions that they have given us, right here is going to be the intake, obviously. This right here is what sucks in the water. So that'll go on this side. On this side, which I think this is super cool, I'm actually gonna order another one of these uh, for this tank right here. 
So it'll probably be a lot cheaper. This thing was like 50 bucks or something. Imagine one for a 65 gallon tank. It'd probably be so much cheaper. The thing I love about this is, first of all, way more filtration and so much nicer of a filtration. That thing's such a piece of junk. Look at that. So this is gonna hang over the side like this on the side of the tank, just like that. And there's like 30 holes right here. So that right there could be pushing out water straight across the surface of the water. And you can also even maneuver the holes down if you want them down, if you want them up. You can literally do whatever. I highly suggest getting a canister filter for your fish tank if you don't have one. And you can get it for a small tank. You can get it for any size tank. I'm a dumb I literally didn't even see this. I'm gonna need you to do me a favor and tell me. What? Got it. Alright. Oh jeez. Alright. First one is up. Intake is in. Alright, so I have actually the flow is gonna be going sideways along the whole entire tank. So like this, all the way down the whole entire tank, down that way. So it'll be going straight across. It's gonna be pretty cool. Let's uh plug it in. In order to start it, you've gotta actually push this like you're pumping a heart. It is gonna be pumping now, watch this. Here, come on. Come on, you can hear the, I think I gotta give it a little more heartbeat. Can you see this bubble right here? I'm trying to get the air bubble out. That's pretty much what this does, get it out of that pipe. It's like a mini spillway. It's sick, I'm sure it's gonna get a lot more high pressured once it really gets all those air bubbles out. I'm gonna have to keep pumping. Now the plecos do need at least something in the tank. So what I'm gonna do is get all the live plants and tuck them up in that left corner there. And you know what? Since plecos feed on wood sometimes, I've got a piece of wood right here. It's a mini piece of driftwood. I literally broke it off the bigger one that was in there. And I'm gonna just tuck it in that corner like this. And there is no possible way this could do anything to a flower horn. Like I'm talking dull edges, nothing sharp. It's actually soggy like Perfect, perfect for these little guys so they can use those little mouths to get this. I'm actually so pleased with that. Like literally, that looks better than when the thing was in the middle. Like look at that. We've got the hill, piece of little driftwood buried halfway in the sand, halfway out. Plants throughout the whole entire thing. Tucked up left back corner by the heater and uh, this tank is coming together and I'm loving it. Just fed the fish in the 160 gallon too. You'll see the goldfish go to the pen and get all, the, they try to get all the food through it. And just, look at that. Hear him? Listen to that. Today's positive comment shout out goes to, this is a long one, here we go. Jackson James, I've watched your videos since day one and you've inspired me to build three of my own ponds and start my first aquarium. Thank you for inspiring so many people and I hope that you post so much more and keep inspiring more and more of us. Thank you PC. Thank you, Jackson, and thank you to all the support I get on this channel. Appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. I do this out of a hobby, and for me to be doing my hobby and helping and inspiring others is incredible. Living the dream, literally. Thank you all for watching. As always, until next time, I'll see you on the Backyard Rebuild series. I don't know how many videos are going to be. It's going to be epic. Aquascape.